claim now that excessive homework is eroding family life. We're joined by Dr. Nisha O'Reilly, who is uh, involved with the Homework Club. Hello to you, Nisha. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Now tell us, why do you believe excessive homework for school children is eroding family life? Well, I just, I, I'm just been looking at the pressures um, since I set up the tuition centre myself almost three years ago. Um, we work with students from the age of six right through to adults, so we can see across the whole spectrum. And it's just been very clear to me that we find it very difficult to actually get the students to just sort of calm down and step out so we can actually have space to do the work we want to do with them because they're continually worrying about the homework for the next day. Um, they sort of jump from one crisis to the next. And so it's sort of Monday to Thursday, mad panic, at least four hours a night homework, maybe take a bit of Friday off and then um, mad panic again for the weekend and even with the very young students of sort of six years of age um, particularly if they have any sort of learning difficulties such as dyslexia we're seeing that the parents are spending huge amounts of time with them to try and get the homework done okay but a six-year-old how much homework a half an hour or so i know it's, i know people doing up to two hours a night ah come on in my classes and even in first and second class, it, 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 just, it just seems incredibly stressful. And some parents have even admitted to me that um, because their child is so stressed out about the homework and they really can't do it, that they're kind of doing it for them just so that they're sort of sent, being sent into school with the work done. Okay, what sort of things would you, a teacher give a six-year-old child to do that would take two hours? Um, well, reading, writing, a bit of math, a bit of Irish, it all kind of clocks up. And then when you go to secondary school, you kind of, you're, you're sort of given homework by every teacher across maybe seven, eight subjects, you know. Um, and particularly then for the exam years, such as junior cert and leaving cert, you kind of expect to do the homework and then expect to stay in school after study tuition or, you know. Um, and what, and what's actually time. wrong with that, Donisha? Is that not how you learn? Is that not how you dedicate yourself instead of spending time on Facebook or playing video games or whatever? But, it, but it, it's, it's not not how everybody learns and I think my, my big sort of criticism with it is that we should be working effectively and you know when you go out into the workplace you want people to work effectively you don't want them to take their homework home from from work you want them to go home and chill out and have a life and do all the other things that they need to do go in work effectively for so many hours so being in school shouldn't be any different we shouldn't be teaching people to do this for 12 years so that they then leave and they do exactly the same thing in work so you know, it, when you do things in school and do things in class and you spend that much time, you should be doing it in a way that you're absorbing the information and then you're just doing a small, a small amount of recap. And actually what you should really be doing is working out the sort of skills that you need to do well in the exam paper um, at the end of it or how to really write about the things that are in your head or how to get the structure or what is your writing style. Um, not just sort of rope learning, cramming it all in and doing 10 of the same math problem every night. Sean Cottrum is with us, uh, Director of the Irish Primary Principles Network. Hello to you, Sean. Hi, Matt Horting. Very good. Could there be six-year-olds getting the such homework that might take them two hours to do in an evening? Well, I hope not, because I have a six-year-old and he gets about four minutes. <laughs> um, I, I don't think so, Matt. I, I think that, I mean, I've worked in about four or five different schools and I've never come across children that young getting, getting that amount of homework. And how much homework should children in primary school be getting as they work their way up to sixth class? Well, it varies from school to school. I mean, there's certainly there is a culture of homework in some schools more so than others, but I think, it, <clears throat> I mean, it's hard to say, it because put, putting a time on it is, isn't as easy as it sounds, because see, some homework is pretty hard, as in, as in like, hard insofar as it's measurable time-wise, like, you know, written work. Other homework, such as research or maybe, you know, maybe collecting, collecting leaves for the nature table or, or reading a book, you know, where it can be a little bit more um, un, un, undefined in terms, of, in, terms of, in terms of the amount of time that's actually spent doing it, you know. Mm. And what about the role of parents in assisting with homework in primary? Is that actually a good use of family time if the parents spend time with the, with the kids doing the homework? Well, you see, one of, one of the purposes of homework is to keep parents briefed as to what's happening in school, and that's, and that's, that's, that's important and it's very, very good. I guess where, where I would have concerned about homework, and we've, we've, we've written about this before ourselves as a network of principals, is that um, sometimes the homework is, is um, maybe too focused on just simply completing, let's say, tasks in mathematics, maybe, which might not have been actually taught in school that day. Homework which, well, homework which involves work that has not really been prepared is rarely of any benefit to anybody because, let's say, the, strong, the stronger children in the class will, will, will gobble it up and do it in no time anyway, and they'll learn, they'll, they won't, they won't learn much new from it. The weaker children can't do it, therefore it's of, it's of no value. One of the more concerns about homework would be that it actually allows, I suppose, stress to build up between parents, child and school, whereby, you know, where kids, if, if, if a child is finding, difficult, finding homework difficult, the parent really should go to the teacher because there's nothing worse than a child feeling nervous or anxious. Um, because if the child is nervous and anxious, you can be sure that the parents are nervous and anxious, are nervous and anxious as well.
Mm, indeed. Uh, when we go back to you on this one, uh, Nisha O'Reilly, and um, from what you've been hearing there from Sean Cottrell, that it, maybe it's a problem with it's some small number of schools giving too much homework, that that really isn't the problem for most schools and most kids. Well, like, I'm kind of looking at a, a spectrum of what's, what's coming into me in the homework club, and I, I wouldn't really agree with that. And I think what I'm really seeing is that if there's any sort of learning difficulty involved, because we generally work three times harder than everybody else, it's very little allowance being taken in for that. And because the way that the work is being set, it's only being set to sort of work in one way, which kind of assumes that you can read and write, which makes it quite problematic. Um, I'm sorry, George, another point is, you know, a road in family life, but isn't this a good way for parents to spend time with their children? No, I, I think as the primary think educator. No, I think that there's much better ways to spend to spend time with, with your parents. Like, I think I would rather see you in a museum or an art gallery or at a film or debating politics around the dinner table and having dinner together, you know, unstressed. I'd like to see you cooking at home because I think there's a huge amount to be learned. Everybody needs to be able to cook in their life, and there's a huge amount of skills to be learned in cooking in terms of time management and um, organization. You know, you, you learn a lot from just baking. Um, I would much rather see people spending quality time together at home doing those sort of things rather than, you know, how to do fractions. Sean Cotter, well, you, the fractions are important, Nisha, particularly if you want to be yes, able to put the right amount feel... of food into the but mixer it's... baking that cake. Sean Cotter, yes. you wanted to get back in. Yeah, on, the, on a day-to-day -day basis, I think, you know, not every, not every, every parent needs to go out to the park or to the museum on a day-to-day -day basis with their children. But I think things like shared reading where parents are... Where parents and children read together, especially children from joint infants up to second class, is a wonderful way for kids to actually to learn without thinking, without realizing they're learning. I think, most, particularly for younger children, it's just important that the, that the right type of homework is given, not too much, not too little, but enough to keep the child maybe focused um, on some learning without it becoming a, 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 a cause of anxiety. The, to me, that's the single key message: homework should never be a cause of anxiety. If it is, something should be done about it. Okay, listen here from Gwelsko in Tipperary saying so my six-year-old has minimum of 60 to 90 minutes homework daily. That's extraordinary because Shane, a six-class teacher, says recommended amount of homework for six classes. One hour. Would love to know what these six-year-olds are being taught. Got to leave it there. Sean Cottrell from the Irish Primary Pencilers Network. Nisha O'Reilly uh, from the Homework Club. Thank you very much for joining us back after this.